Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make character animation with using Duke Angel in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first of all, select these character hand layers. Select these layer 2 and 22 and 222. Let's go to solo. Okay. And select layer 222, go to anchor point. Move the anchor point here and select 22, move the anchor point here and layer 2, move to here. Let's click tool. Okay, and right now select layer 2, link to 22, select 22, link to 222, and select 222. Let's link to body. Let's change name body. And let's go to solo also body. And select body layer and move the anchor point also down. Clusation tool. And in this time, go to window and enable Duik Angela. If you have not Duik Angela, I will add the link on the description below. You can use. And select these hand layers like this. Okay, let's see. And go to click this icon. And as you can see here, auto rig. Let's click here and click ignore okay here we go we have already hand rigging select controller let's see nice very good and select finger 2 let's go to solo and select finger here and move the anchor point down clusation tool and move the back and select finger 2 let's link to layer 2 and select controller let's see Okay, and finger 2, press R, chain rotation. Okay, very good. And change this controller name, hand, left. And let's unsolo all these layers. So, for now, select this background layer. And let's, let's look here and background objects. Let's see. Okay, also lock layers and sofa and lock layer, foot, also lock layer. Okay, and select TV, lock layer. So in this time, let's create rigging for right hand. Let's select this layer 1, 11 and 111. Go to solo. Okay, and also select body, go to solo. And finger one, go to solo. And select finger, let's move to here and anchor point. Let's move it down and move to back finger layer. And layer one, let's move the anchor point here, layer 11, move to here and layer 111. Let's move to here and let's unsolo body. Okay, move the anchor point here. Clusation tool and again solo body and select layer 1 link to 11 select 11 link to 111 select 111 link to body and select these 111 and 111 layers let's see okay and go to again do you can actually click auto rig click ignore and waiting for building rigging Okay, here we go. Select controller. Let's see. Very nice. And select finger one, link to layer one. Let's see. Nice. And select controller, change name, hand, right. And unsole all of the layers. And let's see. Nice. And select this joystick layer. Let's link to controller left select controller left let's see okay and select this hand right controller let's link to hand left controller select controller left let's see okay nice right now we can create animation like this very good and let's select this eyebrow moth layer nose layer and nose water I close and I black eyes link to head layer select head layer go to solo and move the anchor point down 
Classification tool, Unsolo, and select header layer, link to body. And select body layer. Let's see. Okay, press R. So, in this time, don't forget to select this E left and E right. Link to also head layer. Select head layer, press R. Okay, very good. So, in this time, we can create animation. Select controller, hand left, and press P, create new Python chi frame. Go to 10 chi frames. For go to 10 chi frames, you can use Alt Shift, press page down in keyboard, or let me show other way, click time duration, write plus 10, click OK. And let's move to right and go to 10 chi frames, move to left, again 10 chi frames, move to right, again, move to center, again, move to right, and again, move to left. Let's see. Okay, select chi frames and make it easy or click F9. Let's say again. Nice, and select chi frames, hold Alt, move to right for more slow animation. Okay, and in this time go to this middle chi frame and let's move it down a little bit and go to here, next chi frame. Let's move it up. Let's see. Okay, and go to next chi frame. Let's move it up and next chi frame. Move it down like this. And here, let's move it up. Let's see. Select two frames and let's copy with Ctrl C. Go to last two frame, Ctrl V for loop animation, and select work area for six seconds. Okay, and select these finger layers, finger two and one, and press R. Let's create new rotation chi frame and go to three chi frames. For go to frame by frame chi frames, use page down in keyboard one, two, three, and change rotation like this. Again, one, two, three. Change rotation again, one, two, three. Okay, not bad. Let's see. So select chi frames, make easy, and let's hold control and click time icon for add expression. Go to play button, property and loop out duration. For down expression, click this empty area. Let's see. Okay, this is very speed animation. Select two frames, hold alt, move to right. Okay, and let's go to here. And in this time, let's change rotation a little bit like this. Nice. And go to back, select finger 2. And in this time, let's chain rotation like this. And go to next shift frame, chain rotation. Again, next shift frame, chain this rotation. Again, next shift frame, and chain rotation like this. Select shift frames, make easy. Let's see. Okay, and select shift frames, hold alt, click time icon, go to play button, property, and loop out duration. Let's see. Okay, very nice. So, let's close settings and select body. Let's press R and create new rotation chi frame. Chain rotation 6 or 10. Go to 10 chi frames, change minus 10 and or change minus 5. Again, 10 chi frame, change 6 and again, 10 chi frame, change minus Eight. and let's copy two frames and paste here again let's paste here and select all two frames make easy and hold alt move to right let's see okay and in this time let's select this body hold shape press p and go to first second, let's create new passing chi frame, go to middle and move to down for bounce animation. Go to next chi frame, select first chi frame, copy pass, make chi frames easy. Let's see. 
Okay, and for natural animation, select copy keyframes, go to here, let's add one piece here, and one here, one here, and here, and here. Let's see. Nice, very good. And in this time, select this head layer, press R, and create new rotation keyframe. Go to 10 keyframes, chain rotation like this. And in this time, let's create new rotation keyframe. Go 10 keyframe, chain rotation. Okay, here and create new rotation. Go 10 keyframes, chain rotation again. And go to 5 keyframes and create again random loop. Head, head keyframes. And here, let's create new rotation. So select these two frames, let's copy and control V and make it easy. Okay, very nice. So let's select this head layer, hold shift, press P and go to first second. Let's create new passing in frame, go to middle and move the down head for bounce animation. Go to next shift frame, say first shift frame, copy pass. And select middle Q frame, move to the left a little bit and make Q frames easy. Let's see. Okay, select these Q frames. Let's copy and here control V and here. Also here, here and let's one here. So let's see. Nice, very good. So in this time, let's select these eye close. Let's enable. And go to three shift frames, one to three, and go to edit, split layer, or control shift D, delete. And select this eye close. Let's control D for duplicate, move to right. Again, control D, move to right. Let's see. Okay, let's control D, move to right for random eye blink animation. Again, control D, again, duplicate. Okay, let's see. Nice. And select this eye black and let's press P, create new passing Q frame. Go to two Q frames, move to here. And here, let's create new passing Q frame. Go to two Q frames, move to up. And go to here, let's create new passing Q frame. Go to two Q frames, move to right. And here, let's create new passing Q frame. Go to two Q frames, move to center. And select copy two frames and let's paste here for random eyeball animation nice very good in this time select this eyebrow layer let's press p and create new passing two frame go to two two frames move to down and here let's create new passing two frame go to two two frame move to up and go to here let's create new passing two frame go to two two frames move to down and here let's create again two frame move to like this and let's copy two frames again control v for random low eyebrow two frames nice very good and select position two frames right mouse and easy so in this time select this nose water and go to solo move the anchor point here Clicization tool and let's go to here on solo and press S open scale and click this icon. Let's create new sketch frame. Go to three two frames one to three and let's go to solo change scale and in this time let's create new sketch frame. Go to some two frames and chain like this again. Go to here. Okay, and again, say two frames, make easy, and let's copy two frames and control V for animation like this. Let's unsolo. Okay, very good. And select mouth layer. Let's go to FX presses, search FX wiggle, select wiggle position, use for mouth layer. And change this 25. Let's see. Let's move to here. Change this 45. 
Okay, let's change this to 25 and this too. Okay, very good. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.